what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 16-year-old girl stabbed her best friend because she thought she was trying to steal her boyfriend. Backstory. Eve Cross is chilling in the park with her boyfriend. Her so-called best friend approaches her and grabs her by the head, starts banging on her. She pulls a knife, a kitchen knife, out of her waistband and starts to stab her. And the girl's boyfriend stops her. I'm saying Eve's boyfriend stops her from finishing her off. Now, fast forward. Best friend goes to court and the judge is beyond generous. The judge gave her a two-year rehabilitation order a 10-year restraining order, and a whopping three months on a tag, electronic tag that is. Must be nice. I mean, she almost kills this girl and she walks out of the courtroom a free individual. The UK is definitely America's cousin because this is type of stuff that happens in America all the time. Eve Cross has to spend the next several years in therapy. She dropped out of college because she couldn't focus. She changed her work schedule to nights because she didn't want to run into her attacker again. It, she has PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It almost destroyed her parents' relationship. She said it took a toll on the parents, financially also. So this could actually have a lifelong effect on her. But this girl gets to walk out of the courtroom after attempting to murder someone. See, man, that is just not enough deterrent for people not to commit crimes. Because depending on what you look like, depending on your ethnicity, depending on how much money you got, influence, how big the case is, how much, you, know, you can go home. Two people can commit the same crime and one could literally go to jail for life and the other could go home. One could be executed and the other could go home. One could get a year probation. The other could get 10 years in prison. These judges have too much latitude as to what they can do, what type of punishment that they can uh, levy towards people that have been convicted. People that have been uh, sentenced or uh, people that have been put on trial. They have way too much latitude they must be stopped. I have no problem with that. This judge needs to be investigated. Whoever he is or she is has no business judging people. Now, the attacker's name is being withheld because she is a minor. That's what they say. But I've heard I mean, it seems like to me, like once you have been convicted, 
Your name should be free game. They said that they, he, well, the judge said that he went light on her because of COVID-19, the COVID-19 pandemic. So didn't want to lock her up because of that. Bet you anything, COVID or not, she would have walked. Man, Eve, you got to do better picking your friends because with friends like that, who needs enemies? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?